Hi, hi Doc here. I'm sitting in my living room uh, on Labor Day weekend just finishing up some editing of some projects. Uh, this video is on the install of the Simply Sports Car harness bar. Uh, I want to give a shout out to both Simply Sports Car just creating a wonderful product to install and also to Julian Bowes who uh, was able to facilitate getting these harness bars to us from Australia at a reasonable cost. So anyway, here's the actual video on installing it, and I hope you enjoy it, and have a nice Labor Day weekend. So the first step on a 400 is to remove the bottom seat pound. Seat. And as it turns out, it's held in Velcro, just like... Except, uh, uh, there's much more Velcro. See, I'm just slowly peeling it up. Uh, oh, that comes right up. Like so. uh, mm. When you do lift up, make sure you put your finger underneath the Velcro edge and peel up because otherwise you can actually peel the Velcro from the bottom of the seat. So there's the bottom pad, which really is just pads and some Velcro tape. We gotta take out the top. So it's held in with four clips at each corner. Just like so. One. Velcro. Here. Clip up top. Looks like this clip came undone. That's one of the reasons why this thing might be rattling. Gently pull clip here up, popped out and again too. And it's popped out of there. Velcro and two hooks. So these are the clips that popped out. And I suspect that's one of the reasons why my back pal's rattling. But anyway, we can pull them out now. Looks like they put a little glue on this too. And even cracked a little bit on that one. So these are four milliliter sockets, uh, Allen key sockets. And they're six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and do those. You can see here this rear seat actually clamps onto three metal spots and has plastic clips all the above plus velcro so they really wanted it in place um i suspect my rear has been chattering though because um these metal things have been chafing and the plastic the cloth tape did not isolate enough so let's keep track of these one Six bolts, and this panel should come off. Voila. So we'll put this panel on the side for the time being. Now they got the panel off. Oh, we should be able to get access. This, this is a soundproofing mat. It just comes off pretty easily. Hold it up like so, but those are two bolts we have to get to. This is the access panel. 
In case you want, there's a notch here. Here's a cross seatbelt harness bar. So another place you could tighten the harness perhaps is here. It even has a little hollow here on both sides. So you could probably put a single harness. I bet you has multiple ones. No, this is the only depression right here and right here. So I bet you could put a single harness bar here, which wise into a twin. That would be a way to do it factory wise. But I've got this Simply Sports car harness, and we do the way you can see from underneath. There actually is an indentation here. So they meant for a harness bar to go in here. Same thing here. Interesting. All right. So let's get these two bolts undone. So we get this bolted in, just like so, and those seat belts go back on top. So this thing sits in place there, and these go on top. Just like that. Trim. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so 
Let's try to fit it because with that little piece of metal there, we might have to put a little relaxing cut. We'll see. I've put the whole seat back in place. There's a harness of our bait. bait. I've then unbolted uh, the side mounts with torque screws and it looks like we're ready to go to mount. A little bit easier again to work without a seat, but you should be able to work it with a seat and it just bolts into place like so. Uh. All right, so I finally got the uh, harness bar installed. That took a while. Um, part of the problem is that the uh, side mounts and the bottom mount isn't perfectly bent. It sort of has a little play, you have to bend it, but it's held in here with the torque screws underneath this one. And in order to help the bottom a little better, instead of using the supplied Allen keys, because they cross thread, I put two 8mm bolts with counters underneath and that gave a little play for install and then I tightened them down really tight. So this thing is uh, in pretty good. So before I install the seats and stuff, I want to test fit my fire extinguisher. Alright, so we finished installing the Safecraft uh, the, we finished installing the Safecraft fire extinguisher. This fire extinguisher is a uh, three pound canister that comes with their proprietary um, uh, billet alloy mount. Uh, it's for uh, two inch tubing and so you can see it mounts in really nicely and looks very sharp. Final result of my uh, install. This is the uh, Schroth Rev 2000 seat with bottom mounts as you can see there. Uh, there's my little brackets that I made all in place. Um, and then there is the uh, four-point Schroth ASM harness. Um, there's also a Safecraft uh, fire extinguisher. But overall, I'm very happy with the install. 
Um, it did take me a little finagling to get it in place. And so now I'm going to videotape me reversing it because even though it's working out pretty well, my car is a daily driver. And even today I had to pick up my son from uh, soccer and uh, had to have him sit in the front seat, which is less than ideal. So this video is going to be uh, showing how to undo this thing quickly. Um, and I'll even time it so you know exactly how long it takes.